Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha. I'm an intuitive and a vessel for spirit. Um, this is a um, reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, so how I do my Zodiac readings is we start out with your channel messages. I'll leave your channel songs down below and then we'll dive into your cards. Um, disclaimer, I um, always set intention my readings are meant to give the messages of the most healing, the uh, messages of clarity, um, whatever you need to hear. Um, and I always set intention that the um, messages are for those who need them the most. So if something doesn't resonate, the reading doesn't resonate at all. It just wasn't your message today. Um, yeah, so make sure you check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus because one of the other ones might resonate for you if you don't usually check all of your signs. Um, yeah, so that's it. Okay, so um, we're going to dive in to your uh, reading. I'm listening. I keep wanting not to say this. For some reason, I just didn't know if it was like for you. But I'm listening. Um, my meditation music that I listen to is um, like Native American flutes and um, uh, nature sticking out to me. And, and um, I kept hearing indigenous. Um, so I don't know if you listen to like indigenous um, music or like Native American music or um, you are um, from an indigenous background or culture. So that's for somebody. Um, but anyway, let's get into your messages. So for your numbers that I picked up, um, you got 000, which um, <clears throat> this number doesn't show up a lot for me, but I feel like do your own research, but um, zero represents like the full card, meaning like a new venture, something you've never seen before. Um, you also got 353 three and the number four. Um, and the number four, um, I saw it, just one four and um it's kind of saying like it's kind of screaming like page of pentacles to me page of pentacles is kind of like having the um beginning um almost like i'm getting like like someone investing in in something you're doing or like you have the tools to do something to um start creating something or building something um but it's the beginning so again, more about a beginning going on here. Um, then I also picked up something about a cancer. You might be dealing with a cancer. A cancer might be becoming significant, um, coming into your life soon. Um, or um, you might have cancer somewhere in your chart. Uh, I also, would, the um, Venus was sticking out to me a lot. So I don't know if you have like maybe a cancer Venus or... Um, I kind of feel like it's talking, Spirit's talking more about um, Venus and what Venus represents, uh, like beauty, what you love, um, what you're attracted to, what um, you're passionate about, like stuff like that. That's kind of what I'm getting. I'm getting very um, like heart centered type energy and I, and I heard calling, um, some sort of calling. So yeah, so let's get into your cards because I'm kind of interested um, from your what I can see from your spread. Like it looks very positive. Um, so you got the nine of cups, six of cups, and the chariot. You also got escape go outside and silence your thoughts again about nature something very significant about nature trust your knowing i don't mind my nails i they're a mess okay um got archangel michael is present in your life right now call on him for protection or to help you to release any negativity in your life awakening energetic upgrades a new way of being and integration Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? Ask your angels. 
perfect timing and success which is as cool that the success card came out because you also have the nine of cups which is the same thing basically getting what you want uh wish fulfill like overall fulfillment all right so where are we starting here spirit um right smack dab in the middle here birthing a new age birthing new creations dreaming a new world into being um i'm paying attention to the rock formations in this card um i'm seeing somebody like actually putting the rocks where they are and um taking their time with it though like it's it's about the the um i see somebody really taking their time and doing it for a deeper meaning if that makes sense like i see somebody who is very just in touch with spirit in touch with like nature and in touch with um the flow of the universe Somebody who understands um, the bigger picture. Somebody who knows what it actually takes to bring something into reality. I hope this, this makes sense. I don't know where this is taking me, but I feel like whoever this is for, you'll understand. I'm, I feel like I'm speaking to somebody who is very spiritually inclined, who just gets it. Um, like you are so in flow with the universe and with yourself. And you just kind of came to a place of just knowing um, that things take time. You're not the type of person who's, um, you're not in your like masculine type uh pushing energy you're in your your feminine of creation of um putting the pieces together is what i just heard very slowly very making sure every rock you put down ha is with intention mm, yeah i'm hearing something about intention oils as well i don't know if you work with intention oils um i feel like you do your your mission right now like you're you're developing some sort of habit of having intention behind everything you do everything you create is with intention is with purpose um you enjoy the 3d but you make your 3d surroundings a reflection of you inside almost like you um you're not the type of person who buys like your furniture so that it matches like it's not like oh like i just want a theme like what's my theme and then you get tired of it a few months later because it's like it's you know you're over that theme you want to switch it to another theme like you don't see per if you don't see purpose in something it's like it, it's just you're not doing it you're not taking it you're not buying it um everything you might be a minimalist as well um or be thinking about kind of going down a minimalist type path or like making that a part of your um life i just see somebody who You're just so in touch. Like I just see somebody going to a store and like picking up something and just like really connecting with things and like, does this resonate with me? If it doesn't, I don't want it. You know, like you are, are one who walks with intention, who speaks with intention, who buys with intention, who literally like everything is from your heart. Mm. Like, you might have Leo somewhere else in your chart. Um, I really love your energy. It feels very soothing. Um, you feel very in touch with um, Gaia. Um, 
that's kind of like the vibe like you're very spiritually in touch but you're also very in touch with this world um you're in touch with the earth um i feel like you've been here many lifetimes your soul kind of knows the earth um, very well. You might be wanting to play like the Native American flute um, or one of the native flutes. Be interested in that. Um. <laughs> I just get a very patient energy here. I, I get like, you know... This is all coming to you and you know that the normal way of, of going about, you know, manifesting and going about um, getting things done is just not going to work for this because your blessings are coming from source. You know this, like your blessings are coming directly from God. And um, it's like, you know, there's nothing you can do to bring them any faster. The perfect timing. You know there's nothing you can do to bring it any faster. So you're really um, just allowing things to happen how they are. And um, you also have awakening here. Uh, a new way of being. This is new to you. This is something that you're developing. You're developing a more... Um, I'm paying attention to the green in this card... You might have a green aura. Tourmaline. I don't know why I'm hearing tourmaline. Or you're having some sort of um, heart awakening. Or a heart awakening is kind of what is what's leading you to where you are now. You're becoming more vulnerable. You're becoming more empathic. Um, you're becoming more sensitive. But you're... Your spirit is strong. Like you have a strong spirit, but like it's not how people would typically call like see people like what's strong. What we see as strong is is you know somebody who is like scary. Um, that's how we, you know, as human, will sometimes be like, okay, that person's strong, even though they're usually the biggest teddy bears inside. You know, so I see you being a silent strength your spirit is tough your spirit is strong um your spirit's been through a lot you have a lot of wisdom you have a lot to teach this world and um you're starting by adding in my left or i'm sorry my right leg is going numb right now and tingly um who it's really tingly it's kind of freaking me out um <laughs> but i see somebody who um, i'm hearing gifted you are very gifted in whatever you do or what you're about to do very gifted and it's like you're you're going to be known for this um for who i'm talking to i'm seeing like some like um like a buddha type energy or um a monk type energy you have a very peaceful presence but your your presence is strong your presence is strong but you exude peace like, you have the power to, you know, make people realize that, like, what they're fighting over isn't worth it. Like, you have that power, just your presence alone. You might have, like, a Cancer Moon. Um, I'm seeing somebody who's very... Um, their heart, like, your heart is so big and so... Your, your heart is your biggest gift in this life. Um, and in the past, it's been a curse or it's felt like a curse. People have really used you um, because you've had such a big heart. You see the good in people. You see the good in situations. You try to, you know, always be the bigger person. Always, you know, apologize first. Like you care about people very much so. And I feel in the past you've had to develop a tough exterior to protect yourself. Um, so you would protect yourself from everybody except for the people that you knew that were close to you already, but they were never really close to you. Um, 
I heard canceling out. I feel like the people you had close to you ended up um, being the people that took advantage of you the most. For some of you. You had to let them go. You, you, I'm seeing the word escape here. And it's like you escaped from these people. Like you had to escape because they were that, you know, attached to your energy. They were that um, dependent on your energy. And I feel like you started awakening. And as you started pulling, these people started, you know, pulling um, towards you more and more. And it was like eventually you had to literally just break like a cord. Just that's why Archangel Michael's being showing up right now. It's like your that cord had to be cut um, with these people or this person that you had to let go of. Um, they were really trying to hold you down, hold you back. And um, trust your knowing here. I feel like it's letting you know, like, you made the right decision and you knew this was going to come. Like, um, I feel like spirit kind of nudged you toward um, distancing yourself from certain people. And it was totally what's best for you. Like, you would have been stuck. You would have been stuck. You would have been really bogged down. I see somebody who is just enjoying their solitude, who um, really is just walking and through life and enjoying the scenery, enjoying every moment. Gratitude is the word that's coming through right now. If you don't know what your deepest calling is yet or like what your um, your direction in regards to your purpose and what you're meant to do here, um, I feel like you are on your way, but you don't have all the pieces. You don't have that like okay this is definitely what I want to do right now like this is what I want to do and commit to I don't feel like you're there yet but I feel like you know you're on your way there I feel like you're waiting on the universe um there's something you're going through right now that's um you have to go through first before you have um the answers to that but it's like, you know this. I'm telling you what you already know, I feel like. Um, I'm hearing moment of release. There's going to be a moment of release. Um, I just saw a bird fly past the window. I don't know if bluebirds are significant to anybody. But um, let's see if we can get more clarification on this, on your calling. What do you want Virgo to know about their calling? Three of Cups. Collaboration. Um, something having to do with connecting with others. Can I have more information, please? I'm also seeing the beach. Soul family, page of wands, self-expression, some, your own form of, of your creative self-expression. Um, this could be absolutely anything, whatever you have some sort of talents or gifts that, um, you may not have tapped into yet. Um, are they aware of these gifts? Yes, you are aware of these gifts. You're aware of these talents and gifts that you possess. Um, I feel like you just don't know how to go about putting them to use um, or like in what way you want to use them. But I feel like you, you almost know or like intuitively know that you're on the path to realizing what that is. Um, there's some sort of not a block. Your sight is blocked right now, but it's blocked because you're, you're meant to be in the moment right now. You're meant to develop a... Uh, practice of being present and um right now spirit really wants you to focus on being present and being grateful and being abundant just where you are no matter what you have no matter what you're doing um they really want you to get used to this energy so that you are stable is what i'm hearing i feel <coughs> i just choked um I feel like you went through like a healing period of trials and tribulations is what I just heard. And 
Um, there's still a little bit... It's like... I'm seeing, like, the Eight of Wands. Like, just them coming... Like, Wands coming back and after you thought that, like, you were done with your healing. I feel like you're scared of that or you're fearing that. Or you're scared that, like, there's more um, really deep-rooted pain that you have to face. But I actually... I feel like you've kind of covered most of it. I feel like the worst is over. The worst is behind you. Obviously, we're always healing. Um, but again, your spirit is so t strong that like you're taking your lesson standing now. And you're, it's like you're able to see your pain from a different perspective. It's not a burden anymore. It, it's a lesson for you. It's a teacher for you now. You're able to separate yourself from... Um, the pain you're not internalizing it if that makes sense and making it like self-pitying yourself um you're you're taking it and you're facing it and you're using it for good you're using it um in the way it's meant to be used in there's a little bit more purging that has to be done is what i'm seeing a, a little bit more of releasing i keep seeing spinach um like you like Popeye I'm seeing like him eating the spinach and like he all of a sudden gets stronger um <laughs> what the heck wisdom it's like you're going through a period of actually seeing your life from a higher perspective from a spiritual point of view um and in doing so, you're developing wisdom on your experiences because it's wisdom you're going to need going forward in whatever purpose you have going forward. Um, I just keep hearing you're going to know what this is when the time's right. It's like all of a sudden, um, I'm seeing an airplane astral travel. I don't know if any of you are in astral travel um, or like a dream state. You're going to have some sort of Some sort of clarity or some sort of um, dream, some sort of daydream even. Um, and it's just going to make something click for you and you're going to be like, that's what I want to do. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds, or it's just going to kind of validate what you've already been thinking about. And you're going to be like, all of a sudden it's just like, wow, I could do this. Like, I could do this. I feel called to do this, you know. Let me pull and let's see what else comes out. What is this purpose for Virgo? I know it's probably different for everybody, but um, how are they going to find this purpose out? How are they going to know what this is? How, what is this? Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Can I have clarification on that, please? The High Priestess and the Hermit to clarify the Five of Pentacles. I'm hearing home run. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I just heard there's nothing to fear. Um, I heard ground zero. I have more clarification on this, please. Virgo's purpose, how they... Knight of Wands and Judgment. Yeah, they're not giving me a straight answer. You're just going to know. It's different for everybody, I guess. That's why they're not giving me like a straight answer. But the High Priestess being here with the Hermit, it's like two cards of, um, you know, just knowing. 
um the hermit is about soul searching um not really knowing where you're going but knowing that you're going somewhere that you're meant to go um just kind of following the light and the high priestess being your intuition your um your calling like what you know is for you um I actually feel this five of pentacles, it might be representing somebody um, that left you out in the cold or made you feel left out in the cold. Somebody that um, somebody that is coming, possibly coming back. Knight of Wands energy, they're very hot and cold. They're very in and out. Somebody who's been in and out of your life um, comes back. Um, can you give me some validation if I'm on point here? Yeah. Yeah. Knight of Cups at the bottom here. Queen of Swords and the Fool. The Fool with the zeros that we talked about earlier. Um, I feel like there's something that, if this is replying to you with this person that's um, coming back, it's like they're coming back so that you can have some sort of clarity because there's some sort of lesson that you need to learn here. Um, only if this is applying to you. I'm also staring at the, the cherub here. Something about a baby or a child. <laughs> um, I'm hearing you might not have known that this person had a child. Um, but you're going to put that final, like, no, mm -mm. and I feel like this is going to be the last thing that needs to be handled. I don't know why it needs, why does this need to be handled before they can move forward? Before Virgo can move forward, why does this need to be handled? I heard second chances or a no-go. What? Channel, channel, best belief. This is something you knew was going to happen intuitively. Four of Pentacles. To open up your heart. Mm. I get it. Okay. So if this is applying to you, um, that somebody, there's somebody from your past that you cut out, um, that you felt left out in the cold by. They're coming back. They have the Knight of Wands energy. So they are, they just want to um, hook up or like just want to like, they really like you physically. They they like how you look. They, they're attracted to you physically very much so. Um, and you're going to, the lesson here is to show that you learned how to establish boundaries. I'm seeing you, um, it's like, if this applies to you, you'll know, like this person, you've almost been waiting for them to come back in a sense, not necessarily waiting, but like you've been wanting them to come back so that you can officially cut them off. Does that make sense? Like, you know, when like 
you never got that satisfaction with um, somebody like like they hurt you or they left you behind or took you for granted and you're like man I wish they would come back now because now I'd be able to you know cut that off and be like don't hit me up you know like be able to put my foot down I that's what I'm seeing here and I'm seeing you being like nah I even though I don't know what else is out there I know that there's better and I feel like subconsciously this has actually been something that's been weighing on you even if you don't feel that way um it's still been getting in the way of um, you having an, my feet are really itchy right now, of you having um, an open heart completely. You need to have a complete open heart and I feel like you really have to have this um, clarity so that you can completely move forward into your new beginning. That's what I'm seeing here. And you got the King of Swords at the bottom here um, representing counterparts. So, yeah, so that's going to be, I don't know if that's going to be for everybody, but um, I'm definitely seeing somebody coming back that um, you're going to end a cycle by telling this person to, that you're, you're good. Like, you don't, you don't want them, you know, you're going to be like, nah, I'm all right. Thanks, though. Or don't hit me up anymore. Or you're just going to not respond. You're going to get your satisfaction. That's what spirit wants you to know. So, um. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep being present and um, spending time in nature, doing what's what's helping you to heal and to release and to purge what else you have to purge. And just, I feel like in divine timing, perfect timing, you are going to um, really enter into this new phase of your life. I feel like this is unfolding. I'm hearing the 28th. So something about the 28th of January is significant. I'm seeing um, by the end of this month, you're going to be in the full um, stage. You're going to be walking into your new beginning, completely open hearted, like no nothing from the past holding you back, just completely moving forward and embracing this new beginning for yourself. So Virgo, I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if this resonated, how this resonated. Um, again, if it didn't, um, then it just wasn't your message today. But um, yeah, so I'll leave info for personal readings down below, my Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.